How's it going everybody, Dato Doi here with another Dragon Ball Fighters video, and today I wanted to talk to you all about Final Round 2018. If you're unfamiliar with what that is, Final Round is a big tournament for all sorts of fighting games, and one of the biggest ones there this year was Dragon Ball Fighters. The tournament itself recently concluded, and it served as Dragon Ball Fighters first big major. And the main reason I wanted to make this video today is because of how much I ended up enjoying the thing. And it wasn't just me either, it's clear that a lot of people in the fighting game community and the Dragon Ball Fighters community really did enjoy watching this unfold. The game took the second highest number of viewers right next to Street Fighter V, which is almost not even a fair comparison as Street Fighter V has a pro tour, so that game has a pro circuit that a lot of people want to tune into and see. And that's not to say that I don't want Dragon Ball Fighters to have a pro tour, on the contrary I think it would be very good for competition as seen with Street Fighter V, but it is hard to deny that there's something special about a fighting game not having a pro tour, and having the event stand on its own, to settle rivalries, and to just plain old see who's the best at the game. I think there's something so bare bones about it that really captured my attention. It felt like people were there because they just enjoyed the spectacle of the game and watching people who are really good at it compete to see who's number one. Usually with a pro tour you don't really get that feeling. Yeah sure somebody will win an event, but usually when people discuss it online it's oh whatever that's one event he got this many points, we'll see what happens at the real final. And obviously it doesn't always have to be that way, but that's what it started to feel like to me. Of course all of these feelings of Dragon Ball Fighters at Final Round were amplified by just the insane amount of crazy moments that happened at this thing. I mean if you were to read the events that unfolded during this tournament, you would think that somebody wrote down the script to an FGC movie or something. You've got the reigning champ in the United States Sonic Fox going up against the legendary Goichi. This rivalry was so hyped up within the community that they participated in a 1st to 10 exhibition match, one which Goichi won 4 to 10, a crazy victory for him, and it really showcased the insane offensive pressure he had and just what the level of upper Dragon Ball Fighters play looked like. The top 8 was also full of these crazy performances, but again Goichi and Sonic Fox met again in the grand finals, with Sonic Fox on the winner's side this time, meaning Goichi would have to take him down twice. After a 3-0 bracket reset, the real fight was just beginning, and just in that reset you have some crazy moments like Sonic Fox having no other option. Oh no, he fell behind, I think he fell behind. He fell behind? He's too close to the corner. He did! Oh! Oh, oh, is is it? It? Oh, oh, oh my god! That was, was actually That was actually godlike! That was actually godlike! This kid is unreal! And all sorts of different things. And when the game was on the line, 2-1 in Goichi's favor, this happened. And the 2-8! This could be it. Final three. flash! Wait, wait, wait. He does he win. have enough to he survive? He does! And the wake up bites from Sonic Fox. Refusing to oh, take the 2-H. Steve. And he has Steve. three more. Hold me, Steve. He has three more. Watch my tattoo on my tattoo. I'm tap. sorry. Oh, God, I'm sorry. Oh, All right, he's got down. a mix up. One mix up. Wake up, DP. You got to be careful. We still have finish. Oh, oh my God. God. Sick. It's too bad. Sonic Fox. I see you. I see you. Stop it. I see you. Stop it. The crowd was on their feet. Everybody was going wild. And then when the camera cut back to the audience, you can see that they were doing a spirit bomb for Sonic Fox. This isn't really too important, but it does show one of my favorite parts about this tournament that was highlighted, and that's the community. People at home were getting very invested, making a ton of jokes online, and it was super funny to just scroll through my timeline and see what jokes people were making. For example, one of my favorites was that Nakiel was one of the people giving his energy in the spirit bomb, and he tweeted out after he got eliminated, Sonic Fox take my energy. Of course if you watch Super, somebody compared this to Vegeta getting eliminated and giving his last energy to Goku, which I really enjoyed. It's cool to see those references being applied to tournaments, and I think that's what makes Dragon Ball Fighters special. But then of course it was 2-2, down to the final game. Goichi vs Sonic Fox, and it was an intense match. And Goichi took it in the end, which I think is better for the health of the game, as Sonic Fox had been dominant here for so long, that I think people were starting to get the idea that he couldn't be beaten, that he had seen something in this game that nobody else had seen yet, and clearly that's not entirely true. He has weaknesses too, and the great part about him is that he's so good he also showed some of Goichi's weaknesses. Goichi even going on to say in Twitter that Sonic Fox had the best offense he had ever played against. Overall this event served to give the community something to rally behind and see what Dragon Ball Fighters competitive scene had to offer, and I think this tournament did a fantastic job at showing just that. If you haven't watched Final Round yet, there will be links in the description to go do so, and I highly advise you go check them out. Even if you don't think you're that into tournament play, I really do think you should check out Grand Finals at least. If you want to discuss the craziness that was Final Round, please feel free to do so in the comments below. I'll be down there as always. And once again, I would like to thank my Patreons who make these videos possible. I really do owe you guys a lot. I'm Dr. Doya, and I'll see you in the next one.